Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through some other advanced features of hot strings, namely escape special keys when sending the strings and send the strings as a raw form, delay keystrokes for each of the keys to be sent when the hot string is running and how to send multi-line hot strings and a very long hot strings. If you're interested in, it, in this topic, then please continue watching. Welcome back. Let us start with how to send the strings in raw format. So what I mean by that is, I'll just quickly show you an example. So if I go IMO in my opinion, I create a hot, hot, hot string like that. And then had I typed out, for instance, BS or curly braces, BS and 10 and enter and carrot V, what these are going to do is it's going to send the keys as if they were backspaces enters and control v as in paste so in order to avoid that from happening um, what we can do is put an r up here to send the strings as raw so it will then send these characters as they are letters and characters as they are so let me just comment this one out and demonstrate to you I'll go ahead and copy this value because I have a caret and v which represents pace. So if I typed out IMO down here, I'm going to get a result like this. And that is because the hunt string initially pasted this string in my opinion. And also the next step the hunt string took was send backspace. 10 times so 1 2 3 5 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and that's why I've only seen in in my results and then what it did is, is it pressed enter so it took me to the next line and then pasted what was in my copy uh, clipboard uh, because there was a carrot and v so if you don't want this I'll switch this on put an r in front I'll run the script and then go IMO again IMO and this time you can see that the hot string output is sent as raw instead of backspaces and enters and paste and etc. Alright, so that's um that's the that's how to escape special key uh designation. Now um, next up is delay keystrokes. So there is a way that you can so when you saw that happening before, when you saw IMO running, if the hot string is sent almost instantly so that you won't be able to, with human eyes, be able to see what actually happened. Um, but what you can do is, let me just reduce this a little, and to NB should be okay. What I'm going to do is move that as well. So I'm just shortening it, shortening it because I'm going to put a key delay of 1000 milliseconds, which is one second, and then also put in SE. SE stands for send event. Now, if I go ahead and run the script and then go IMO, what it's going to do is it's going to send my keys and this time it's not going to send the keys as raw, it's going to send backspaces and enters and paste. Actually, let me just copy this and um, and before each key is entered in, it's going to wait for a second. So here we go, IMO is first going to delete IMO and then type out my string one second by one second and that was backspace three times and pressed enter and pasted. So if you ever wanted to uh, put a key delay, then that's how you do it. Now, next up is multi-line hot strings. Now, if you have 
a hot string that has multiple lines. The way you create multi-line hot string is in this manner. Let's just say I want to go colors to be replaced with orange, yellow, green, blue, and red. And that's if you open up a parenthesis and close the parenthesis after all the strings are, are uh, produced. So if you want to provide a line break, you just simply press enter. Now, if I go ahead and run the script and then go time uh, colors, I will get exactly what is included in within the parentheses. Right. And you can also create a very long, very, very, very long hot string in this manner. Let me just go ahead and copy that, copy a long string of text from somewhere like that. This time when I run the script and run the hot string, it's going to take a while because there's so much text to be reproduced, but producing a long hot string is also possible. Uh, that's about it for today's video. It's a short one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.